Welcome back. We just got finished talking to that sick lady. Sick days come out of my pay. Dang, that's unfortunate. What if I get the plague? I mean, I mean, it's not the plague, so it doesn't particularly matter. Damn. This one dead. This one dead, too. Wow. He's d oh, this is the dead area. Okay. Who the fuck is... Who's shooting? Thought I saw something. Who the fuck? Who? Who? What? Who was he just shooting at? Okay, that was strange. <laughs> hey, you. I appreciate what you've done, but we should look. I need you to go cure rocks, r Rosette, whatever face. Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Cool. Awesome. Well, go cure what's her face. All right, so I did say I was going to go do that mission. We're going to go do that mission. I don't know why that guard was out here shooting us. So if I didn't see anything red on my my thing, so that was kind of weird. It's not the worst unless it's worst worst. Cool. That looks disgusting. Y'all eat that? Nah, kid, I couldn't do it. That looks like the plague itself. Ow, my knee just popped. It wasn't cute. Oof. The real question is, what am I going to do for work tomorrow? <laughs> Auto mechanical scout. Is it here? Oh, bitch. Then why the hell? I guess we're walk running around the sides. <laughs> Ridiculous. I don't know why I didn't just... I don't like these little noises that be going on. They're not very uh, welcoming noises. Is it even oh, fucking over here? Oh, it's like magma. It's like in here. Well, then how the fuck? Dick. Must be going the right way if it's still if there's like stuff over here. Unless people just Shh. Oh, he's not worried about me. This I don't think he is. Uh oh. Cool. Return to Ludwig. Who's that again? I was say that I was going to keep playing the whole time. I really hope not. I think Ludwig is inside. Oh, it's this guy. Yeah, well. We'll do that. Carrying too many things, you can turn them into your cans on your ship. What else you find elsewhere in the world? Okay, L Ludwig. Bring us honor, soldier. I killed it. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out of its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. I'd rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one, and the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. 
A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical heart. Yes, please. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. <coughs> That's where I've kept it hidden all these it's years. It's probably not still there. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know what exactly this space the spacer's choice thing is but I need some clarification <laughs> for being honest cool <laughs> remember to pick up your order today I ordered groceries online and I realized that uh, I forgot half the stuff I needed to get. So I'm just like, great, I tried. I tried and failed. I tried and failed. Okay, to the cantina. But like, the back. Something got you down? Yeah, the fact that y'all are just casually dying and are okay with it. You're not a big drinker, are you? And what if I am, Parvardi? Yeah, huh? Um. That's on account of how I never met her. Mm. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. The contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. That's inhuman. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Yeah, that's fair. He's just interested in fixing nah, stuff. Nah, he like you, homie. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. Mm-hmm. He's head over heels for you. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Cool. Let's get back to it. Oh my. I'm mad he legit. <laughs> Had like a whole weapon. Like, <laughs> it's the right. This isn't the right door. That's gonna take me out to the front. I need to go to the back door. That's not gonna take if me out to the front. Sick, Ooh, period. He said, "If you've fallen sick, I don't want you near me," and that's on health. Is it? Is it this way? I was like right behind the. Ca that's the. Ca it was over here. There we go. I was like, "Where in the hell am I going?" <laughs> I really need to figure out how to get into his that room. Because I need it. I need to get in there. Oof. Anatomy and life cycle. Okay. I hope this isn't something I'm going to have to fight. Because flying things just don't work for me. This isn't the right door. You know what? It's fine. I'm not even... I wasn't even near the hostiles. Better than nature. Face mat. Auntie Cleo's. Who was Auntie Cleo? Anthracillin. Like, what year are we in? That's the real question. 
Because, like... Obviously, like, we're in advance. Because there's, like, a TV and computers and hacking. But also, we can't diagnose things. And there's one doctor who must not even be, like, a real doctor. So I'm just really confused as to where we actually are. You know what I'm saying? It's just not quite making sense. <laughs> like this thing. Do I have to fight this thing? Manti Queen? I imagine I do. I don't like that. This gives me anxiety. That thing is huge. And like shoots out stuff. See? Can we just stick to the little, um, the canids? Those are fine. We can keep the canids. 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 Okay, here's your weapon. Do I get to keep it? Bring us honor, soldier. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine spacer's choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. Mm. I call it the hand of the law. I like it. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Sounds like fun. Fun? This ain't some quarterly performance review, soldier. Ours is a grave and sacred duty. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. I have to go there anyway. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. Sounds simple enough. How do I get it, though? There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its course. You're going to have to find an intact model somehow. I don't reckon so. So what are you good for? With gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanicals she fixes, calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. Facts. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Thanks. Appreciate it. When, uh, Mark Bench. Mods. Install your mods. Select the item which to upgrade, then choose what type of mod you wish to install. Finally, pick mods and install them. Boom! Cool. They can't be removed once used. So, I want to put it on this assault rifle. Yeah. Shock damage. Yeah. Cool. That should be fun, right? I don't need a sight because, like, what do I need that for? Okay, now we're headed to the geothermal plant. Actually, I can't do this one quite yet, so we're just going to map it out. The geothermal plant is here. So we're just going to transport to the community center and go from there. Oof, my leg hurts. I'm struggling. I wonder how long it's going to take me to finish this one particular mission. Do the toy this the skip drive was invented, right? So, skip drive. So, we got skip drives. We can fly in space, but we can't, we can't figure out how to do simple stuff. Like, you know. Um, properly do... Oh shit. 
but we can't properly. Shh, ain't nothing over here, nigga. It's just me, myself, and I. Solo right until I die. Side too. Damn. What's it they tried, but they obviously didn't if they uh oh wait a second. Oh shit. Didn't know I could do that. Instead of just leaving all those weapons just chilling, I could have been fucking breaking them down this whole time. I guess you uh learn something new every day. Hmm. Shit happens, I suppose. Armor parts. Where do I find one of one intact? There's something around the corner. Well, might as well go kill it. The little zappy zaps really, uh, wow. Can't go wrong with the zappy zaps. Energy canister. I'm really happy I picked up the zappy zaps because if I didn't, killing these would be. Can I break this down too? No? Okay, well, moving on then. This is actually the first mod I've put on a weapon too. To the geothermal power plant! Because why not? Got a vending machine, a man trying to kill me. Right over that door. The control room should be off to the right. Great. We're doing the right thing. I hope we're doing the right thing too. Vending machines! A half skill twenty high larger to sell items to the vending machine. That's cool. Can I break into it though? Now that would be really nice. What are these? Oh, we're gonna buy all these fuckers. Three hundred dollars, Jesus. Y'all got things I can't buy anywhere else? Toughened? Restricted stock? Why not? Stupid. He's around this corner over here. Yeah, he's doing alright. I guess. I thought there was like, oh, what's up here? Haven't been up here before. What we got? We got some energy cells, shovel, weapon parts, mag pick. My favorite. I love me a good mag pick. What does this do? Use terminal. Unlock office door. Don't know what that did. Did something, evidently. <laughs> Who knows anymore? We're just... Opening up shit. Oh. Might be something good. I hope so, because I'm opening it. Oh, clever. Really? Oh, that was it? Uh. Okay, well. I feel disrespected. I hate feeling... What? How did you hit me from over here? <laughs> That's rude. 
Okay, control room is over here. What is this? Just a corner, okay. <laughs> Nothing worth my time. It's not gonna work. All oh, activate all the tracks. Can do that. Let's go activate all the tracks, I guess. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Facts, that should be easy enough, shouldn't it? But it's not gonna be. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> that door was deceiving. Mind your head. Where's your head at? Where's your head at? Oh, great. Marker outfit, right here. Adreno. I'm really upset. Can y'all shoot me through here? No? Good. Because I'm not trying to get shot through the glass. Dang, bro. Y'all just like killing all my fun. If I had my homie, uh, what's his name? Max? We wouldn't have this problem. I said passcode, and I was like, wait a second. Do y'all really think I'm going to be coming back here? Because I'm not. I'm really not. And then there should be another one. No? Uh oh, okay. It must be through the door then, I guess. Or like around this corner. Yeah, I think it's through the doors. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. Anything over here that can kill me? At least not yet. There's a lot of shit. I don't like how many of them there is. Like, I'm glad I know, but at the same time, like, there's a lot of them. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Come on. Come on, bro. Bitch. Well, while you hitting, hitting this one, I'll kill this one over here. In the really? Really, lady? Got them legs though. He was not ready for that. I took his legs out. Homeboy we'll said, Oop. If we send power to the veil. Um, they die. You know? And uh sometimes people die. That's just the way that the life transpires, you know. Do we want people to die? Of course not. But, you know, in this game called The Outer Worlds, people uh, have to die, and uh, we do all that we can to try to save them, but we can only do but so much. I need a fucking intact thing. Oh, repair log? I'm not interested. What is this? Borrowed a copy of I think it's volume 3. What's upstairs? Haven't been up here. Hmm. That's a uh, big uh, thing. I don't like these sprats. I don't like this. They're all in here, I'm assuming. That's my assumption. Hacking skill too low. Optional Chester's passcode. Who the fuck is Chester? I don't know who Chester is. Well, we're going down here, I suppose. Oh, full circle. No, 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 just leave me alone. No clue who this Higgins man is. 
but I think he's about to die, so. Go away, Phantom. Phantom? What the fuck are you talking about? Who? Jeez, everything's locked. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Not I. Is the other one gonna come down the stairs? I know you heard your homie. Come on. Here we go. Like, dude, I'm not, I'm not worried about you. I almost scalded myself. Cut off that steam vent. Where? Where? Where do I get that thing? And who is this Higgins man? And he has the book. And I need the book. There's one more. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? They die. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You mean about the mission being too clean? Jeez. I know, but Vicker says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicker sees is one that ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. Cool. Mm. I think there's something higher and greater than us. But I don't feel it when I'm in Yeah, because Vicar Max is a fraud. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. I like a drink now and again. I'm going to get you a drink yourself. I haven't been vibing. You're right, it isn't. It's not like I think it a failing mind. It's just I, I live right across the road. Most nights I watch folks out my window. Oh, that's and most nights she watches there, folks out so fall out the window. Mostly they're tired. When they leave, they're mad at themselves. Or they stumble into the alley and I listen to their hearts breaking. Bruh. At me next time. Are you safe when we're crossing this place? There's been scary nights. But Constable Reyes is right up the road. She keeps an orderly town. Good. There was a, a kind of a thing with a vending machine when I was 12. 12? Sure, but folks got long memories. Uh, I've always been good with my hands, right? So I saw a lock on the machine and thought, oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. So I did my thing. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of zero G rolling out the front door and into the road. Mm-hmm. It's not funny. Yeah, it is. Right about then, a bunch of loaders came rolling in the gate, fresh off the Saltuna ships. And Mr. Thompson was up on the porch, making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third <coughs> shift to get it all canned. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of Zero G? Mm -mm. Exploded all over Mr. Thompson. One bottle after another as the loaders went by. I was just shy of working age, so Dad had to pay all the damages. Rose still angry at me. I can laugh about it now, but I just about puked up my guts in terror in the moment. That's the one time I ever made Mr. Thompson look a fool. Oh, oh, oh. In this door we go. Bro, shoot. I need to find that thing. 
Also, who is this Mr. Higgins? Are you Mr. Higgins? Nope, you're a plant worker. Well, they're all dead now. Oh, it's all a thing. Lubristine. Hmm. Another plant worker, another plant worker. But no Higgins, huh? He has to be, like, back where I was, like, hidden up or downstairs or something, because he's not here. Armor parts. We're not gonna open that door quite yet. We're gonna keep walking around. We're gonna unbar this one, too. Because, you I mean, you never know. What the hell? I was about to say, where the hell is this thing? And the last. I'm not sure what the ride is. All I know is the decision's final. Sure, it's final. Final is final is as final as is going to be. I hope. Uh, wait. person scared me. Okay, let's go get into the pit. I don't know how we're going to get down there, though. Because we went up and not down, right? Go away, Phantom. How the hell? Oh, we do have to go down. Okay, so we go down this level. There has to be another. Oh. Okay. Another one? Is he gonna like try to kill me? I haven't done this yet. Okay, I'm just gonna just uh take your book. No, 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 just leave me alone. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot, scram. What the fuck? You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Well, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Mm hmm. Clearly, I mistook you for one of the phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. That's fair. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Mm hmm. How long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Uh-huh. And what exactly do you do oh, here? Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Mm. Hmm. You were an engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries... Repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Uh huh. Um, if we're gonna make him, must have stopped them. Cystic pig, how many? Uh, okay. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. Mm hmm. <laughs> Live 54. Jeez. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Hmm. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. Yes. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. 
It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, uh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Funny thing. I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Security chief found me and confiscated the logic module. Hmm. <laughs> the tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Mm. <laughs> Forgot what you were gonna say? Me too. So he's just down here by himself. Cause that's not weird at all. Before I get that volume two. And that logic module, which is upstairs somewhere. But where is his little Cody code thing that he was just talking about? Impact hammer? Hmm. Cause there's like no other room down here. He did say a room next door, right? Like that's exactly what he said, is it not? Whatever, we're climbing up the ladder. I wish it would automatically climb, but I'm also glad it doesn't automatically climb because I feel like when games have automatic climb, like your whole life be getting fucked up because you just be getting on the thing for no reason. And then you're just like, I didn't want to climb the ladder. And then you're struggling to get off the ladder and you just keep getting on and off the ladder. And I don't have time for that. So I guess it's a good thing I can't just get off and on the ladder like I please. Okay. Hmm. Is it? On this level? Looks like it might be. Let's go exploring and to see if it is. No, it's not. Okay, well, uh, go back upstairs. Wait, it's Chester's passcode, right? That's the little thing that I was in before, I, I think. Maybe. Yeah, it is. Right? Yep. It's in that room. How do I get in there? I need his fucking key code. How the... How the... How the... How the hell do I get in there? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I'm discombobulated again. Damn it. <laughs> Is it this? Oh, I think it's through here. Right? Maybe. Here we go. Okay, so I modified their behavior. Which is great, except now the issue becomes there's a door that I can't get into, which is a problem because I need to get into, I need unencumbered, encumbered, okay. Freak. Do you have the key card? No, you don't have the key card? Well, darn, who has the key card? Someone has to have it, right? Or maybe not. How do I... Because I talked to the man, I got the thing. It's so close, too. It's literally right at my fingertips. But I can't get to it. There has to be some kind of way to get in here. OK. 
Okay, well, guess we'll come back when my lock picking is at 40. Until then, we're opening this shit. <laughs> Once we do this, there's no going back. Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? What's your opinion? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Mm -hmm. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. Mm -hmm. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. That's fair. That sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to travel off like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. I'm glad you did. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Well, um... I don't know what I'm going to quite do quite yet, but y'all will find out when I find out. But in the meantime... Ooh, excuse me. Uh, drop a like, drop a comment if you want, uh, share with your friends, uh, make good choices, be the best you can be, um, stay saucy, but you know the drill. I'm out this bitch. <laughs>